Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. So we're here today with Oyasmi Ponpon chapter 99 to 103, I believe. 99, 100, 100, 100, 200, yes, 99 to 103. I hope you're having a fantastic day, so let us hop right into this chapter, or these chapters. Ah, Let's hop right into these. My right eye always looked like super dark. Eh, I need to get myself a cream or something for it. Um, Alright, chapter 99, we're almost at 100. Ah! The voice of the daytime talk show host drifted inside his ear, where it triggered an electrical synapse that slowly awoke his brain. It seemed that he had slept for nearly 12 hours before, uh, before of May's warm weather. After finally opening his half-closed eyes, he saw an amateur impressionist on TV trying to do an impression of some famous person he did not know. Uh, a popular comedian then told a joke to get the audience fired up, but to him, the events on screen couldn't seem less real. Like a conversation between people from the future of an alternate dimension, the show seemed nothing more than the happenings of a world far, far away. Um, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Feeling first, he looked around the table for something to parch his throat, but he could only find half-drunk cans of coffee. As he considered what it would be like to just drink his own urine and excrete it back out, only to drink it again and so forth, the sound of his mailbox being opened was heard. It startled him for a moment, but he well, we're getting some deep exposition. But but he then realized it was probably nothing more than the usual bills. After all, there is no other reason why anyone in the world would need to contact him for. The bills informed him that if he did not pay for him in five days, his electricity would be cut off. He wondered why he had time and time again delayed doing these simple things. To do anything when living alone seemed to make things so hectic, it to do nothing was too boring. At the bookstore, just in front of his workplace, he, had, he read a guide on how to commit suicide. That's, there's a book for that? It seemed that hanging yourself from a doorknob was a good method. Holding, that, holding the book in half... He walked up to the register, but there he noticed a cute, round-faced, glasses-wearing female cashier being berated by, by a middle-aged male customer. For some reason, looking at her crying was enough to make him start crying too. He imagined himself doing a sweeping leg throw under the, me under the mean old man and repeatedly punching him afterwards until his brain splattered out, but of course, he had no such courage to actually carry it out. Unable to bear the scene any longer, he left the store without buying the book. He thought to himself that if he had the courage to kill himself, he should have just gone ahead and killed that man. But he knew that he was just that he was just how. But he knew that was just how his pathetic, weak-willed self was. My goodness, my goodness, tiny puny pun. Unless that's your manga that you're talking about, but my goodness, puny pun pun. At the park, while eating bread, he imagined himself going out with that female cashier and having sex. However, unless ten miracles were to happen to him, it would be unlikely that such fantasies would ever come true. After much thought, he decided to ask his co-worker if he could join the mixer after all. But his co-worker replied that a number of party members had already been set and unfortunately could not be changed. Seeing a troubled look on his co-worker's face, he quickly stammered, It's fine. It's fine then. Don't worry about me. All the while wondering just what exactly in his life was fine. Feeling a little embarrassed, he nervously laughed to himself before accidentally letting out a big snort. <sighs> Soon afterwards, he was met by a stomach ache, so he retreated to the washroom, where he let out a great big shit, like a middle-aged man with his bowel problems. Hearing the muffled laughter of his co-workers coming across the door, he thought it was about time for him to quit his part-time job too. While walking home, he spotted a woman lying down unconscious along the sidewalk. He nervously approached her, wondering if she had died, but she turned out to be nothing more than a passed out drunk. A brown-haired woman wearing high heels, boots, white wearing high heel boots, frayed jeans, and a white t-shirt that did little to cover her bare stomach, which seemed to read, Please rape me. Clicking his tongue in disgust, he quickly left the scene and headed home. My goodness. Some few hours after returning home, he became suddenly worried for that woman earlier, so he went back out to look for her. However, when he arrived at the place, she was no longer there. That was how Pun Pun's day went. Frankly, he was tired of himself. His messily scattered items seemed to him like the dregs left behind after his worthless life was ill, what was filtered through a metaphorical tea trainer. Tea strainer. He wanted to just throw it all away, so he did just that. Um, hi there, I'm Fujikawa from next door. Those bags seem quite heavy. Do you need a hand? Takashi, can I speak to you for a moment? Ah, 
Ah, eh, uh, yes. Ah, Takashi! Ah, ah. Maybe this universe resolves around Takashi. Ah. This may be the center of this universe. Is kind, uh, is kind, a gentle Fujikawa Takashi, who goes to a good university, plays soccer on weekdays, and is well liked by friends and has a caring girlfriend, but still has relations with random girls he meets when he goes out drinking. And that very same Takashi is right on the other side of this wall, single mindedly thrusting his Johnny in and out. Ah, right there. Yes, Takashi! Thinking thus, Pompon achieved the strangest erection. Oh, he's becoming a cook. Oh no, he's becoming a cook. Oh no, he's becoming a cook. Takashi, Takashi, I'm, I'm coming! I love Takashi. Oh my goodness, he's actually a cook. <laughs> oh no! A beta cook. Oh no! I want Takashi to lick every inch of my body. I want him to gently caress me. And then I want him to slap my ass. You can come inside me. As long as you, you hold me in your warm embrace afterwards. Ah, that night, Onodera Pun Pun died. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't die. Maybe of shame, but he didn't die. Sorry. I'm in a rush right now. Uh, sorry, not sure. No, not sure how comfortable I am with that. An indomitable spirit. Who me? Yes, I am free at the moment. Oh, sorry. Would you like a seat? Let me clean this up right now. Unrelenting courage. Oh, so today's the first day. You're applying for a driver's license so you can drive your soccer team. Wow, that's so considerate of you. I'm just here because my parents told me to get a license. Yeah, I know. Waiting for an appointment can be so boring. In my case, especially because I just moved here to Tokyo for university, so I don't have very many friends yet. Ah, that's right. I have to book my next training. Uh time. There is Pumpon. By the way, I still don't know your name yet. Just call me Takeshi. That's what all my friends call me. Haha. <laughs> well, wait up because I'll be done soon. Alright. Pumpon died. Takeshi is alive. Pumpon has died. Show me your vagina. Till next time then. Yes, take care. See, as long as I completely disregard my former self, things will go just fine. In fact, uh, what is he doing there? This is way too friggin' easy. Of all the people to sit next to him. Of all the people to sit next to him. At that instant, Onodera Punpun, Fujikawa Takeshi, age 20, wanted to loudly holler at all the other worthless sacks of crap out there in the world. Pun pun. The world is mine. The world is mine. Let's see how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. Chapter one, the big one oh oh. Let's see how this goes. How this, how this, how this talk goes. Pun pun. That's how we ended the last chapter with pun pun. Pun pun. Chapter 100 You're Pun Pun, right? Ah. 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 So all I gotta do is make an account on this page and log in? Yeah, I wish he'd just drop that totally. I go! Oh, sorry about that. I mistook you for someone else. Pun Pun. No, it's me, Pun Pun. You better. Do you remember me? Bro, he. Ah. Uh, Fujikawa? Fujikawa? Fujikawa, no! Why are you ruining us for- Do you two know each other? Why are you ruining us for Pony Pun? Yeah, she's an old classmate of mine that has just happened to run across here of all places. Talk about a coincidence, eh? Or are you the type to believe in fate, causality, or what? No, she's like, oh, he's moved on. He's moved on, I see now. In any case, I just got a call from my mom. She said she's coming out here to Tokyo to check up on how I'm doing. So I'm sorry about the sudden change of plans, but I gotta go meet her at the station. Bye then. See you then. See you here next time. Hello. What? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling all stuffy. I'm listening to voice, Kenny. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit now. Now I don't think it's a cold, but I'll go to the hospital tomorrow just in case. The manuscript's almost done. I'm having it looked over, but he edits it next week. How's Pun Pun? That's what I like to know. I don't even know if he's still alive. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for your concern. Gonna hang up now. All right. Hello. Who is it? Oh, I see. It's because your mum remarried. If you ask me, though, I think I liked it better when you were Punyama. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's finding an excuse. In any case, this all feels so weird to think we'd be going to the same driving school. Since I only have a couple more lessons before I graduate, I guess it's like I'm your senpai. 
it's good seeing you again. I'm glad you haven't changed m too much. Um, I have work after this, so I need to take off now, but do you want to go get lunch together next time? I'm usually here for driving lessons during the weekend. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not part-timing. Uh, well, it's a little embarrassing to say, it's a little bit embarrassing to say out loud. Keep this a secret from our old classmates, okay? I'm actually working as a model. Ha 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 Do you remember when I was a kid, I wanted to become an actress, singer, a model? Looks like my dreams came true. Yeah, we 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 we, we as the audience already knew that obviously because we saw her um, in the magazine. We saw the magazine itself, so we as the audience already knew that. But it's good to see that it seemed like she's gonna be in his life again, um, which is ex exactly what he needs. Um, you know, it seemed like she's gonna be in his life again, which I'm all for. Junk recycling truck coming through. Please, f make, makes sense that it would be chapter 100 as well, where she'd be in his life again, eh? Please feel free to bring out any old or broken PC CD players. Bikes, radios, or some other junk you wish to throw away. Click, clack, clack, click, clack, clack, click, clack. Right, I need to get going. Hello, you left something here. How the hell should I know where the duplicate key to your girl's place is? No, I'm going vacationing in Okinawa with Kanye next week. Fine, I'll hide my key outside my door. Just so come, just come look for it yourself, huh? Yeah, yeah? I'm fine, it's just a cold. Yeah, alright, bye. Pumpa looks like a completely different player. He looks like a completely different person with those clothing. Straight up, he looks like a complete. Uh, like it's not even the same person anymore. Like someone totally different. Look at him just going around seeing her. And her just smiling back. Well, I'm not really. Oh, ooh, who's she talking to there? Ah, oh, that's Pumpa. That's him in a bag. Ah, oh, nice. They're going for the dinner right now. Well, I'm not really all that tall, you know. And that's why I thought it was impossible for someone like me to be a model. But this classmate of mine at the fashion school I attended does some work from fashion magazines. And she invited me to come along with her one day. Anyways, one of the managers for the models took a liking to me. And before I knew it, I was doing all sorts of other job. These days, I'm doing a lot of vocal training on general lessons for modeling and acting. But modeling's a lot tougher than I thought. You need both talent and look to succeed. To be honest, I wouldn't mind just working in textile designs, which is basically designing clothes. Then again... Doing some networking with the right people in the fashion industry is never a bad thing, precisely. Networking is the key of everything. At the moment, Onodera Punpun slash Fujikawa Takashi for Dus. Aiko is talking right before my eyes, huh? The magazine I'm in. Sorry, it's too embarrassing to tell, but it's something you can easily find at most convenience stores, so you'll probably find it. I hate people like that. I hate people like that. It's like, well, uh, I'm not going to tell you, but if you, I mean, if you were to really look, it's in, you'd probably find me in section A.2 uh, at every supermarket. So it's like, bro, just tell me, bro. <laughs> just tell me. Stop, stop with that cryptic nonsense, all right? Uh, the roundabout ways of telling me but not telling me. It's so annoying that. Oh, is that so? Well, maybe I will go look for it next time. I'm at a store. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm always jealous of how happy and well you're doing in life. Then again, I should have expected any less from you. I shouldn't have expected any less. You're jealous? Why? How are things going with you? Well, uh, I'm just the average university student. I'm thinking it might be nice to become a teacher, so I'm currently majoring in education. I'm preparing for the teacher's license exams. I say prepping, but to be honest, I'm just wasting my time. I'm going out drinking and playing indoor soccer with my friend, haha. -ha. Lies. Why are you always lying? Why are you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop freaking lying. Oh, isn't that fine too? That sounds like a lot of fun in my own in its own way. By the way, about that girl the other day at driving school. Was that your girlfriend? No, no, no. It's nothing like that. That girl was just a stranger I was making a friendly conversation with. Oh, you mean you were hitting on her? Didn't expect it to be so easy going like that. Haha. -ha. Um, but um, by that girl, does that mean there is another girl who's your girlfriend? Ha, I knew it. What's she like? She's a younger co-worker at my part-time job. Oh, she's a younger than you. Who confessed to... Who confessed to... My goodness, she's asking the right questions right now. Uh, uh there wasn't really anything of that sort. The part-time job at a rental store. So, we were just talking about music and movies we liked. And it's just, uh, sort of, uh, took off from, uh, the, um, yeah. I could just looking at him like, mm, I really not. Really not. I, um, it'll be interesting if I could ruin that. <laughs> but we sort of hit a rough spot after a year and a half since we've started going out. She's a little depressed right now. It's been tr uh, tough trying to cheer her up. It's not all. It's not all bad. Though. I mean, I don't mind taking care of others, and my sex drive is pretty low for a guy, so I'm cool with not getting any these days. Ha ha. Oh yeah. I never asked about your sex drive. Ha ha. Now ha ha. In any case, 
it's good to hear you're still getting along with her. So what about you, considering you're a stylish model? Well, finding a boyfriend isn't too big of a problem, am I right? Well, not quite, really. What about Yamaguchi? Yamaguchi? We broke up a long time ago, all the way back in middle school. That really takes me back, though. You sure do have a good memory. Oh, that's too bad. I thought you two were a nice couple. More importantly, there's something I've been dying to tell you for a little while now, but let me your ear. The lady sitting next to us is a Monra. Is that, that's what you've been telling... <laughs> that's what the conversation's about. <laughs> She's gonna overhear us. I could effortlessly change her expression and at times burst out a laugh. <laughs> I guess my current boyfriend is completely different from Yagauchi. For one, he's a lot older and really mature. Oh, but it's not like he's some rich old dude. He's a pretty normal guy that works for a small company. I'm a little on the naive side, so it's nice to having someone who can give me good advice and scold me when I screw up. There used to be a time when I wouldn't have given a, ch a chance. Would I would I wouldn't have given a chance to smart guys like that. But nowadays, I really respect people like him. Pumba's like. <laughs> But things aren't all good. He really likes the outdoors, so he always going, he's always going hiking or camping somewhere far away with his buddies on the weekends while leaving. Well, what? 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 Oh, no. What if his name, bro? Nah. What's his name? Give me his name. Give me his. I need. I need to know the name right now. <laughs> then again, I'm no different since I'm usually shopping or traveling somewhere with my own friends, laughing and talking just like any normal girl. Oh, sorry about going on about my relationship troubles like that. It's hard to stop since you were always. Uh, since you always were such a good listener, Pun Pun. No, just like any other stupid favorite girl. So what do you say? Should we go to the Ghibli Museum together next time then? This girl isn't the Aiko I know. People change. People change. See, this isn't too bad, right? It's a pretty touching story. Easy to understand with no ambiguous hint. I knew you could do it if you just tried. I've marked a few lines here and there in the manuscript, so I just need you to rise and that's all. You know... You've been signing an awful lot. You've been sighing an awful lot for the past little while. No, I'm telling you, this is good enough. Look, you can always go on to draw what you really want once you make a couple sellers. You could have the most amazing opinion to say, but no one's gonna wanna bother listening to it unless you establish yourself first. That makes a lot of sense, of course. You need that following, that readership. On the dad, I was the one who wrote the story for your previous manuscript, right? I'm not sure what your exact intentions were then, but you should have realized by now he was only dragging you down. And she's like, right. Oh boy. Oh boy. The anchor that Pun Pun had is slowly fading away, it seemed like. It's slowly fading away, that's what it seemed like. That the anchor that Pun Pun had is slowly fading away while a new anchor is being presented in Aiku. Ah, yes, yes! Woo woo! You hungry? I got some leftovers that I can microwave if you want. Ah, Takashi, you smart. This guy pretends to be Takashi, and now look at him getting some Taka pussy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Takasi, you smoke. Not in my house, you don't. Don't you know it's bad for you? And if you really have to smoke, at least do it on the ventilation fan. W what's that? Oh, that's just my student idea. No, don't look at it. These pictures from so long ago. Oh, come on. No means no. Hey, let me go. Why not? Come on. Can I just take a peek? Pretty please. Could you? Actually, just drop this already. Okay. And he drops it. Huh? What? One more time. He's like, ah, come on. Let's get, let's get right. Let's, let's have some more fun. Sorry, but no. I already took a shower, so maybe next time. Ouch. My mom said she'd come visit me again next month. I should have my driver's license by then, so maybe I'll take her for a drive. Do you want to you want to come along? You really should meet my mom at least once. She's a really fun person. Oh, right. You said you'd be busy with indoor soccer next month, eh? Indoor soccer. I'm personally not too interested in soccer, over an offside being some important rule. I don't know much about it either. Well, perfect. <laughs> Even so, maybe I'll come watch your game and bring you lunch. I'd love to meet your friends too. Oh, Shuckleberries. Pun Pun, it's time to run for the hills. <laughs> it's time to run run, not Pun Pun. Never thought I'd be able to make new friends so soon. I think we're a perfect match for each other, don't you think? Huh? What's wrong? No, it's just there is a tarantula on the wall, huh? What's the matter? Are you mad about something? Whoa, whoa, your wall's real smooth and slippery, ha ha What? You're going home? Sorry. I'm really sorry about all this. What's wrong? Come on, tell me. Are we still going to the movie tomorrow? Takashi! And Takashi has left the building. This is wrong. Ooh, look at him. This is wrong. This isn't how it's supposed to be. Just got the seahorse on the wall. Pun Pun then asked himself, Is that... What my face always looked like with just the eyes, the eyes, the all seeing eyes. That's not who you are. Back when he was a kid, Aiko once told him, In the near future, oil's going to run out and the environment will be so polluted that humans will go extinct. 
And that you of right now is all there is to you. Taking her words seriously that day led him to become the mess he was today. Meanwhile, Aiko went on to follow her dreams without a care in the world, forgetting that she ever spoke such things. You wouldn't tell a lie, right, Pun Pun? You were the one who lied. Huh. Pumper didn't come. I tried calling him, but he said he was already busy with other plans and uh, yeah, oh. Huh. We had seen you eating candy, Nanjo. They could tell that it's getting uh, it's eating away at her. Just trying to quit smoking, those damn things are getting way too expensive. Um, is something troubling is clearly something's troubling her. Oh please. As if there's someone in this world without at least one or two problems. Alright then, Kane. Let's arrange the plans for our trip to Okinawa already. And Pun Pun is not part of it. Come on, Punny. Sorry. They'll make you wait too long. And Aiko, the thing I had to do before coming here took a little longer than I thought. Oh, here. It's some souvenir food that my, photogra my photographer gave me after coming back from Guam. He gave me way too much, so you should ha take some. Oh, thanks. And don't worry being late. I was actually busy studying in a cafe until a little while ago. So, where should we go? It's almost evening already. Do you know any good places around here? Well, no, not really, but let's just start walking around first. Yeah, Pun Pun is kind of in this downward spiral, um, where he's trying to be someone else, but he realizes, wait, that's not who I am. That's that's not who I am. Uh, people have changed. People have changed, and I don't. He doesn't know whether that's a good or bad thing. If kind of, he's kind of on that on, on that seesaw right now, is like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? He he, can't, he doesn't know. Uh, chapter one of three, though. Somehow I get the feeling. You and I on the same brain waves or something. Woo! Good vibrations! I've actually been meaning to check out that movie for a while now. Maybe we have the same taste in movies. Ha! <laughs> I guess your girlfriend might get mad if she heard me say that. Oh, that's right. There is this cutie little cafe around here that my friend works at. Would you like to go? Sorry. Sorry. I didn't think it'd be completely full. Looks like the sun's starting to set. Yeah, you're right. The sun was about this high, the first time we talked to each other. Pun Pun was completely at ease, having immersed himself in Takashi's soul for the last couple of days. What if her boyfriend is Takashi? That, 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 that would be absolutely crazy. That's why I, I was hoping that we get to find a name. He couldn't care less about popular movies or trendy cafes, but I didn't stop him, his mouth from moving on its own to blurt out some fashionable topics of conversation, huh? Oh, it's fine. Modest shops like these are relaxing in their own down-to-earth way. Me and my friend usually go to cheap places, too, when we go out drinking. But it's nice to see you're such a well-adjusted guy now. The way you eat so casual and unpretentious is very much like you. So what are you going to drink? I'll have a, a, a daft beer. Right, one daft beer coming. What is this? I'm feeling it's almost like I'm... Some actor delivering empty lines for a too stupid TV show, yeah? You, you, you're putting yourself in the role of someone else. And what's with this raging erection down my pants that's refusing to go away? No, I don't have that. <laughs> I don't have that right now. Okay, pretty, pretty, pretty one. What? Seriously? He went to that place just so he could find his long lost crush? Oh. That's too sad, eh? That's too sad, eh? Oh, pun, pun. Oh, Pine Pine, you're being disrespected right now. I know she doesn't know that's you, but you're being disrespected. You should call him over next time. I can introduce him to one of my model friends if he'd like. Just what is it that I even want to do? Wow, it really feels like we're adults now, doesn't it? And who the hell are you supposed to be? No, over there. Yeah, right there. Isn't that the middle school we used to go to? Strange, isn't it? This town looks so small from up here. And yet the two of us never ran into each other until now. I wonder why he was looking for you all the time, man. I wonder if I'm drunk, or maybe not. And again, maybe I am a little. Oh, um, I don't want you to get the wrong idea or anything, but I really can't waste time like this uh, a whole lot anymore. I mean, I've got a boyfriend and a job. It's just, I wanted to see you one more time to clear up any awkwardness, to clear up any awkwardness between us. I was a pretty stupid girl back then, so I was a little worried that maybe I would necessarily cause you to go through unpleasant things. So the fact that I can now just stand here and talk to you normally makes me really happy. Yeah, I feel the same way. No, to be honest, you were such a weak and shy little kid back then. I actually worried if you had committed suicide or some other horrible things. Well, about that. <laughs> same horror. I was worried that you might have gone insane by now and been living some terrible life. Haha, <laughs> was I really that crazy back then? The fuck are you laughing about? How is any of this funny at all? Stop playing games with me, Tanako Aiko. Ah, oh, look at them holding hands. Can we hold hands? But you already are. Can we just stay like this for a little longer? Why? I wonder why myself. No. 
we shouldn't be doing this. Pon pon. Where are we walking to? Pon pon. You're starting to scare me a little, and my feet are getting real tired. Shall we rest at a curry? Oh no, no, he, he's trying to get it on. Shall we rest at a karaoke place? Then no, I'm not good with places like those. How about a manga cafe? No, I don't really read manga. Ooh, it's getting a little pushy now. Then should we just get on a train together and what? Let's go to a hotel. Aiko, I have no idea what your intentions are with me, but I'm extremely saddened. To think that after all this time you've become just another slut that casually sleeps around with some guy you haven't even met since middle school. I know I'm being unfairly self-entitled, but I want to make your life miserable. Ah. Look, pony pun. Look, pony pun. People change, look. People actually change. You haven't changed, I guess, but people have changed. People grow up, people get older, people move forward. They leave their past behind. I know it's difficult for him to accept and the fact that she's just hopping into bed with him right away um, obviously leave him in one, le leaves him thinking uh, you're, just a, you're just one of the other people you're not the person I thought you were but I know he d doesn't understand that fully yet but people do change people do change ladies and gentlemen um, there, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that in fact we all change every day we all change day to day uh, you know none of us are the same person tomorrow that we are today because we all move forward, we all move onwards, we all move upwards. That's just the way it is. It's always, it's, we're always moving progressively. So I get that he's disappointed, and he now wants to seek revenge. But he needs to realize that right now he's also not being himself. He's being Takashi, and he needs to realize that himself. That it's okay changing. It's okay finding new goals. It's okay leaving things in the past, um, and get getting over things. So that's exactly what he will he has to do in my honest opinion. But yeah. That was chapter one of three. He found Aiko. He found Aiko. Let's see how this downward spiral continues. <laughs> Let's see how this downward spiral continues, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out and happy vibrations. Happy vibrations. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get one week early access as well as full length. Until next time everybody, peace out and have a nice day.